Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a repair to this drawer and I'll explain it in a minute. But today's video has been kindly sponsored by Lost Weekend's YouTube channel and uh, it's a great channel. If you've not subscribed already, please go over, click that subscription button and also hit the bell notification to get notifications when they release new videos. And also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So, last weekend we were away in the caravan and we noticed that we had a soggy bottom. Drawer that is. And it's this one, this top drawer. It started to actually uh, sag because the side walls are coming away slightly and the base is dropping. Uh, this might be due to Juliet or myself putting slightly heavier things in the drawer. But however, they're not the best made drawers on the planet, I have to admit. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to fix it and I've found a solution that I bought on Amazon. So let's take a look at what I've bought and also what tools you require. So here are the tools you're going to need today in order to fix uh, the draw problem. And what we've got is we've got an electric drill, we've got a crosshead screwdriver, we've got a 2mm drill bit and we've got six 1cm screws. So this is what I've purchased off Amazon. It's the DIY Doctor Drawer Repair Kit. Try saying that after a few pints. Let's have a look inside what we've got. So, we get... Oh, there's a YouTube video, but it's... Uh, I'm doing my own, basically because I'm doing it more caravan related. Let's see what's inside. <clears throat> Okay, so we have some angle brackets which have got slits through them, total of four. And we've got this nylon like what I would call packing tape or packing uh, stripping. Two of those and we've also got some screws. Now we're going to disregard the screws because they're too long so we'll put them back in the packet. And I didn't mention at the beginning of the video when we talked about tools and kit you're going to need a pencil or a marker pen and also you're going to need looks like a craft knife in order to cut these uh, zip ties off. So we'll get all that undone and we'll get the drawer and I'll show you how it works. So I've just turned this drawer over and I've actually found that Swift have put a card insert into the opposite side where it's sagging so they know that this is an issue which is a bit rubbish really isn't it? Anyway moving on so what we're going to do, uh, here we know that this is our sagging area. So we're going to take the bracket and we're going to fit it to the edge so that the pre-drilled holes in the bracket are on the edge of the actual runner. So we're just going to mark them now with a pencil. Right, so we're going to take our 2 mil drill bit. Now the reason why I chose to pilot this is I don't want it actually splitting or cracking. So that's the reason why we're doing what we're doing now. Okay, so we're there. So we're gonna take our one centimeter screws and screw this bracket in in a moment. But before we do that, I'll do the opposite side, which is very similar. So I'll come back to you in a moment. Now just before I uh, go further with the video, I just realized I've got my ruler with me. So why don't you measure from the end of this section here to the beginning of your actual plate which on this one is actually uh, 12 centimeters and mark that on the opposite side just another top tip okay so we're going to take the tape now and we know that this goes this way now what I've uh, worked out is the best thing to do is thread it up under with a bit more slack like so and then back through. Like so. And that's quite strong. It's not going to come off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to screw this to the actual uh, side of the drawer. So that's now fitted. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move to the other side of the drawer and sort out the packing tape section with the, uh, the bracket and thread that through. Okay, so 
I've actually threaded it through. Now how I've done it is, this is a little twisted, it's a bit annoying actually because it's been wound up for so long. It's like a spring. I've fed it through the, t the furthest one first under and then I've come up again and then I've gone un under again and over like so. Now that is set to the tension that I want. Now you might have to play around with this until you get it right. So let's smooth this out. Yeah, that's pretty tight for me. I'm quite happy with that. Don't over tighten it because you could uh, actually deform the drawer or split the actual plastic runners. So what we're going to do now is measure it up with our hole that we've pre-drilled. Bob a screw in and that should be nice and tight now. So we've now attached both brackets and the strap in. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of tension on there, but not too much, but enough to just pull the drawer in so that it actually holds better than a piece of tape. So turning the drawer over now, you can see it's a lot more rigid now. Well, as rigid as a plastic line drawer will be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop this back into the actual uh, caravan drawer and uh, we'll finish up. So that's how you fix a soggy bottom of a drawer. Now, the packs that I uh, looked on on Amazon for the uh, fixing kits, they come in a pack of two, a pack of three, a pack of four, and I think you can get a pack of six. I'll leave a link to them below. It's not an affiliated link. I don't do affiliated links. If you choose to uh, buy it from Amazon, that's entirely up to you. Now, if you find this fix uh, useful and helpful and you like the video, you can support the channel by actually watching our uh, product reviews because the product reviews actually help us do these little fixes. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you'll join us again real soon. But in the meantime, bye for now.